Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. I'm your host, VGM Corrin, and in the last four, in the last four episodes, we have been running around this dungeon without fail, just constantly solving puzzles, solving the same puzzle in different rooms, and generally using the portal ripoff for a long time. Today, that all ends. Today, we go to the boss. Today, no more pu portal puzzles. Well, maybe a portal puzzle. The boss is probably a portal puzzle. Spoilers. No, I don't actually remember how to fight the boss, so you're gonna be watching me fail. Are you ready? Because I am. Maybe. Well, I definitely see portals, so... Alright. Chose poorly. <laughs> Straga will enjoy killing you again. This is Straga. Do you remember Straga? I hope you do. So immediately, I'm just going to put on the show you what you need to do. Put a portal on his weapon, and then put a portal on the ground and jump over to his back. Uh, I wasn't actually going to show that that fast, but then I remembered it, and that brings him down to where we can punch his face off. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the main reason I show you this is because Strog is actually a fairly long boss fight. Uh, maybe? Oh, right, I forget. In Strog's boss fight, you have to fight waves of minions. That's right, they don't even have enough unique mechanics to make you not fight waves of minions. Oh, well... Straga is not what we would call the brains of the Destroyer's Chosen. In fact, he's more what you might call the idiot. At least for him, it makes sense that he, uh, that he is saying the same lines again, because he's probably like, oh, this is so cool, he'll never get bored of hearing that. So it's in character. Totally in character stupidity. Uh, the hard thing here is that you... We, oh god, oh god. <laughs> you really need to get a portal onto Straga's hammer as fast as you possibly can. Well, we're not really running, but I digress. You need to get that portal when you can, because otherwise he will bring down his hammer in otherwise relatively unavoidable attacks. I don't know if something can actually be relatively unavoidable. So with two ones done, let's try and get a fast portal onto that thing. Well, that was a failure. So that means we get to fight more enemies. You, I, I'm not approaching... <laughs> this should be interesting, they say, as they die. So yeah, this is Straga. This is the last of the Destroyers chosen, and totally the final boss? No, because he's not the Destroyer. Uh, you might be wondering, well, why doesn't the Destroyer have his own dungeon, since I've been fairly obvious about this game not having... Straga will punish you for that! I, I'm sorry, Straga. Um, since I have mentioned several times that this is the last dungeon in the game. Uh, let's see, if he pulls that behind his head... Uh oh. I don't know if you saw that, but the portal on his weapon disappeared. So I actually couldn't jump through that orange portal in time to avoid that attack. And as you can see, this fight is unfortunately very formulaic. You just need to kill enemies and then use your portals. I kind of preferred throwing cars at this guy and hitting him when his head was low.
Straga and the tower are one. Now let's see how useful I can be. after he fell. Saw him? I brought him here to Eden. What treachery is this, Azriel? Eden doesn't exist. Not anymore. Ignorant sprite. I bore witness as the first ones were cast out and the garden fell to ruin. I could not let heaven's first gift and greatest weapon simply rot or worse, fall to darkness. I hid it away. The Tree of Knowledge. Then, Abaddon has been to the tree. You must draw upon its gifts now. If some way exists to stop the Destroyer, the tree will show it to you. I never dared use it myself. Perhaps if I had, things would have been... different. And Abaddon, what of his gift? That was not for me to know. Each who comes before the tree receives a different gift. Some receive nothing. Others are driven mad by visions. Or simply destroyed. No. I cannot say for certain. Come. Alright, so we are in Eden with a lifestone. Uh, as I didn't get to say before, cutscene nonsense took over. Why are there chests here? I'm leaving those alone. Uh, it only takes... Oh, another cutscene. There's no way across. There is. For those who are worthy. Or those who can fly. Horseman, you have fought against the darkness so long that it has marked you. Creatures of the light will sense it, as I have. In this place, you are worse than a demon. Conquer the shadow, then you may pass. Are you ready to face yourself in the light? Not all are prepared for what they see. The Mask of Shadows. Yes. You will see into the Shadow Realm for as long as you wear the mask. Fight well. Okay, so now we need to put the Mask of Shadows on. So, let's do it. Oh no, what could it be? It's war! That's right, after your boss fight, you need to fight a boss fight to boss fight your boss fight. Uh... <laughs> So now, fight war, because why not? And be careful, he has all the moves you do, but he's not very good at them. So, just fight, don't take hits from his hits, Let's, and yeah, you should be okay. His attacks don't do that much damage, unfortunately, for him. Um, so... Obviously, we are in Eden, we are going to get the last things we need to fight the Destroyer, and we still don't technically know who the Destroyer is, I mean, I know who the Destroyer is, and the foreshadowing is like, you know who the Destroyer is, but we don't know who the Destroyer is, so for those of you who don't know who the Destroyer is, is I will talk about it. Oh no, he used his demon form, so let's, let's use ours. Wait, he had a jump slam, do we have a jump slam? I really need to test this. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. We do have a jump slam. And a regular slam. Well, in all my time playing Darksider, I never knew this existed. Now, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, that was that was silly. So now we've killed ourselves. Evan's first gift awaits you. I will remain here with the Watcher. I'm not letting the horseman out of my sight. Where he goes, I go. Indeed. Go then, Darkling. Make for the tree. You will never reach the other side. Forget who holds the lead. All right, I think we're done with cutscenes for the moment. So now, the sh Mask of Shadows. You put it on, and you can see things that were otherwise invisible. So, grats on that. Uh, take a look at your map here, because any treasures that you don't find here are gone forever. That's right. You can never come back to the... I think that's right anyway. I think you can never come back here if you leave. So, does the Mask of Shadows do anything cool? Um, not really, actually. In fact, it's more of a pain than anything else. Obviously, that's where we need to go, so that's not where I'm going. Oh, I can't jump off of this. Oh, I can! Yay! Alright, this treasure chest is what I came to find. Uh, if you miss this Wrath Shard, you can't get it. You can't ever get it back, I think. I think that's right. I'm gonna go check out this land over here and see if there are any other treasure chests that I might as well see while I'm here. Or if they just made this place pretty to look pretty. They probably just made it this place pretty to look pretty. But I do see a cave. Where does the cave go? Does it go to treasure? Yes, it does, in fact. You can put on your Mask of Shadows to see this chest chest and get this abyssal armor piece which likewise if you don't get this here you won't get that this game of course like i've said before the abyssal armor is kind of broken overpowered uh comment below if you really want to see it i don't really feel like collecting it but if i know that people really want to see it then i'll go pick it up um okay i'm gonna cut to back to where i'm on top of the staircase and we're back and that's a lot of glowing. Let's go step into the glowing. And even better, let's step into the glowing without putting the mask on. Because that's totally what we need to do. Cutscene! Would you serve in heaven, or rule in hell? The storm is coming, Uriel. Soon, I will need you at my side. I would follow you into hell, my lord. <laughs> the best laid plans, or so the humans used to say. You... did this? You plotted and schemed to call us to this world. I simply took advantage of your initiative. No... I will consider this an offering, Abaddon. And you... My loyal servant, join me, and take up the mantle of the Destroyer. No. Once the throne learns what you've done, you'll be cast down, dragged in chains before the Council. You're already damned. So I offer you this choice. Would you serve in heaven, or rule in hell? Return to Azrael. Persuade him to help us. Then, together, we will change the face of the universe. <laughs> Abaddon must be punished. He bends the law to his will, laughs in the face of the council. What proof do we have? The seals are intact. No doubt the angel had help, but from whom? Until we know, we must wait. His act breeds open defiance. 
the council weakens. How long before we are overthrown? We cannot stop Abaddon, but there are others who might, if they had reason. We dare not send the four. Without proof, there is no justice, only murder. They will see no reason in this assassination. We will send one for whom vengeance is reason enough. The blade is scattered. I guard the seven seal. This world is ours. Heaven is ours. <laughs> you had to know it was a one-way ticket. We appear to be dead. Alright, so, lots of cutscenes. Let's talk about that for a minute. So, Abaddon is revealed to be the Destroyer, and by becoming the Destroyer, he became a dragon. Honestly, that's pretty badass. If I could, like, go become a dragon and destroy things, I would totally take him up on that. War apparently is going to die, because the Watcher is a dick. And, um, uh, the Council apparently knew that wasn't War's fault in the first place. They just wanted him to do it for them, because they had no proof. So, plot twists. Plot twists everywhere. Um, yeah, that's about the most cuts. Oh. Well, Abaddon is the destroyer. The Archangel? He was betrayed. He is only a pawn in some greater game. You must bring him peace. Peace? Abaddon is the destroyer. I'm pretty sure peace is off the table. Did you find any clues among the visions? A way to stop him? There was a sword. One which broke the seals. The Armageddon Blade. But... After the seals were broken, Abaddon ordered the blade destroyed on the very anvil of its creation. Horseman... I fear the blade is lost to us now. It will be made again. What else did you see? Abaddon guards the seventh seal. He plots with others to storm the White Gates. Uriel will lead the Hellguard against him and fail. What else did you see? I saw nothing else. I will open the gate to return us. Once it is closed, the garden and its secrets will be lost forever. When you are ready, I will begin. Okay, so there's the heaven portal which Uriel already took, and we're taking that mask off. So, we need to go find... Oh wait, I already have full HP and magic, but I can't leave this chest behind, or this one. Um, so we need to reforge the, um, the Armageddon Blade, but who do we know who could have a forge? I don't know. Do you? You should. He made stuff. So let's leave through the portal that we came through. Did that make sense? And I'm going to leave this one in because Uriel, or Uriel, no. Uh, apparently Uriel is going to fight Abaddon even though she had, you know, a boner for him. A lady boner. You know what? I'm not talking about that anymore in this episode. Uh, <laughs> so we have the hilt of the Armageddon Blade, but nothing else. So you might wonder, is there going to be another set of dungeons 
that how all house pieces of the Armageddon Blade? Well, I figure that was probably the original intent of the game, but no. That is not the case of what was going to happen. Seek Ulthane. He will help you. He must help you. Abaddon will have scattered the sword's remains, hidden them where none that walk in the light could find them. The Shadow Realm. Yes. Use the Mask of Shadows. Assemble the Broken Blade. Then, return it to the Forge of the Black Hammer. When this is done, return to me. Perhaps I can serve you one last time before the end. Azrael, at any time you could have left me to my fate. Dead in the tower, lost among the ashes of Eden. Why do you help me now? When this is over, the Council will see that justice is done. I will kill Abaddon. And all who schemed with him. We all must answer for our sins, Horseman. When the hour of my judgment comes, I will embrace it. Whatever the light decides. Go. Waste no more time on me. And tell Ulthane. He is the last hope of an old fool. All right, so now we know what we need to do. Scattered over this ruined world. Yes. Find the pieces, forge them at the hand of the Black Hammer, then return. All right, and as you can see, there's the tower that totally hasn't fallen. But that is all circumstantial. Uh, first, I want to go sh show you that the first piece is right here. We landed next to it. Hooray! Pick it up. It's the tip of the sword, kind of. Pick it up, and that's an Armageddon Blade Shard, one of seven, and now we need to go find the other six. Thankfully, the game tells us quite conveniently where all of them are, and this is a fetch quest. But, after seeing all the revelations we've had to see, well, I think that it's time that we summon Ruin, and in this episode here, and in the next one... Ooh, a treasure chest. We're going to pick up the treasure chest, and then in the next one... We'll talk more about the plot that is finally starting to make some semblance of sense and gather all seven pieces of the Armageddon Blade. So I hope to see you in the next one.